Sydney Simpson and her little brother Justin. They will now see their father for the first time in more than a year. But the ordeal for the children may be only beginning. My first obligation is to my young children who will be raised the way that Nicole and I had always planned. OJ's oldest son, Jason, reading an emotional statement from his father shortly after he was acquitted. OJ and his youngest children, Sydney and Justin, haven't been together in more than a year since they walked hand in hand at Nicole's emotional funeral. While Simpson has vowed to be reunited with his children, he still must ask for custody from the courts. For the past year, Nicole's parents, Lou and Juditha, have had guardianship of Sydney and Justin, seen here in an exclusive family video obtained by Extra. The Browns will fight to keep the kids, but USC law professor Charles Whitehead says they don't have much of a case. The law says that natural parents are the best uh, guardians of their own children, and the rights of natural parents are still very highly regarded in this state and throughout the country. San Francisco journalist Rochelle Metcalf is very close to Simpson's mother, Eunice. She says O.J. is planning to take the kids out of California. And I said, well, Eunice, where would you go? And she said, well, maybe Florida, though she didn't want to go there. And I said, well, what about the Caribbean? And she said she just wanted to go away. Regardless of the custody battle, at their family news conference this morning, the Simpson family promised compassion for the Browns. We are two families, and we have two children that we love, and we're going to do what we can the very best okay. for the children. No matter who Sidney and Justin end up with, one child psychiatrist tells Extra, with all the publicity surrounding their lives, the kids will never be allowed to completely heal. And we shouldn't forget the two victims whose lives were brutally ended June 12, 1994. Nicole Brown Simpson, 35-year-old mother of Sidney and Justin, and her friend Ronald Goldman, a waiter who friends say dreamed of owning his own restaurant. Ron died at age 25.